All right, I'm going to show you how to get an airdrop of Solana on the uh, DevNet network. So why you would want to do this? Um, well, first, it's the only way, well, it's the, the only way you can get Solana on the DevNet network to test with. So, you know, like, let's say you're writing some sort of program and you need to use Sol for it. You first want to test it on the DevNet with fake Sol rather than real Sol. Um, so yeah, it's, it's it's the only way to get it technically, I mean, you could also technically get it from, say, a transfer uh, of soul in the DevNet. Okay, so um, so to do this, I'm, we're going to use a blockchain API, because with this, you can use any coding language. Um, so there is another way to do it with a CLI, and you basically just type in the command Solana airdrop 2, or whatever, and that will airdrop 2 soul to your default address. Um, with the API, you can easily use any coding language, and you um, uh, you can easily use any coding language, and you can do it easily to any wallet. So to do that, first we're going to go to docs.theblockchainapi.com, go to Solana Wallet, and click in airdrop on the DevNet. It's pretty simple. You just have to supply the recipient address, and then the in the headers you have to uh, supply your key pair. So um, what this does is this you don't supply an amount. So you just get 0 0.015 soul. And that's the minimum amount you need to mint an NFT. So there's a, a reason for that number. And it also makes sure that when we airdrop it to you, we're actually transferring from one of our wallets. So um, this makes sure that basically you, uh, you, you don't, so we, that wallet doesn't quickly run out. Okay, so create new key. Copy this down. Okay, so now that we have a key, so we're going to be using Python for this. Um, and there is a Python wrapper, but uh, you know, if you're using another coding language, it's an API, so you can just um, you can basically just make a post request to this endpoint, supply the correct headers in the in the correct parameter for the recipient address. So uh, let's go to the example. Well, I'll just show you. Python example.py, we're gonna follow this basically. Um, and so first we're going to, uh, so first just make sure you have the blockchain API installed. So pip install the blockchain API. Oops, I misspelled, misspelled it. So I already have it installed. Okay. So the first thing is make the necessary imports. So from the blockchain API import, um, we're gonna want these two. Okay. So now we can say uh, resource. We'll go. Okay. This just initializes the resource. So the resource is a class that has all the functions we need, and this just starts it off with the headers, which we're gonna to need to supply in every class, in every function call. So it makes sense to initialize the class with them. This way we never have to provide them again. So um, first we just go resource, and uh, let's first create a wallet. Okay, because we're gonna to need to uh, basically airdrop it to something, right? So. And then I'll show you how to do it to, let's say, your phantom wallet. Um, so secret recovery phrase, let's see the secret key. Okay, and first, just to test, let's get the balance of this. Okay. Okay, and let's also make sure that we're using the right network. I think the default's DevNet, but let's just make sure. Okay, and every time this is gonna generate a new address, okay? So then let's go resource.get airdrop. Recipient address is this public key that we're generating. 
And then let's try and check the balance after the airdrop. Okay. See, see the output here? And this is in LAM ports, so it's not in SOL. And so yeah, it's 0 0.015 SOL. We can also see it in SOL by going to, uh, by selecting the unit and setting it to SOL. Okay. All right, great. So that worked. We got the airdrop. And then you can also call this for, um, let's say you wanted to do it 10 times. Okay. Yeah, so that's 0 0.015 times 10. First, I was confused. I was, thought I only did it once. Okay. Um, so, yeah. So then the next thing, I'll just show you really quick. It's pretty simple. How to do it with your own um, with your own wallet. So I'll show you here. This is my wallet. I have a big whopping $5. Uh, if I go to the DevNet, It'll show my DevNet balance, you know, 867. Okay, so this is 3.78811. Okay, so let's get an airdrop to this address. All right. So yeah, there it is. It is 3.78811. Now it's 3.80. So uh, great, worked. All right. So that's how that's how that works. Uh, it's cool because it's easy to do. You can do it in any coding language. You can do it predictably. Uh, that's a, that's the thing. So thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or feedback, put it in the comments.